All right, my little fitness models, we have some important business to attend to today. I come to you in this time of need for not something I will be taking lightly. By this point, you probably have heard of the brand Halara. I don't know if you could be on TikTok or Jeff Bezos' internet without seeing some of this viral clothing. It all started with the traveler dress, and it's always, you know, sparked a light bulb for me, but I've never had the opportunity, the chance, until today, to try out Halara for myself. Now, this is important. Halara has sent me a few packages. They said, you know what, Taylor? Here's the deal, yo. We want you to try our clothes, but I don't want you lying, okay? I want Taylor's brutal, honest answer of Halara's clothing. To be honest with you, that was the only reason I agreed to do this video. I usually have a general rule with myself that I never agree to a sponsorship unless I've already tried and liked the product before I go into a contract with any brand or company. That's just important to me. You know, I want to be able to like the product, tell you that I like the product authentically, and you actually know that I'm telling you the truth. So that does not change today. Halara basically told me, Taylor, if you want to rip us to shreds, rip us to shreds. So here I am with a brutally honest review of Halara. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do what the doctor ordered. I'm gonna rip them to shreds if I have to rip them to shreds. Like I said, they did send me these clothes. They are sponsoring this video, but my review itself is completely 100% my honest opinion. That being said, if you do like anything that I end up trying or anything on their website, I do have a discount code for you. Use Woods20 for 20% off of any full price item on the Halara website. And hopefully this goes swimmingly. I don't want to not like the clothes. Is it worth your money? Do you need to save your coin? Is this cheap? Is the material quality? Will I have a camel toe? Questions that I will be answering today. Cute little packaging. It says, play it my way. How sweet. I learned that Halara means take it easy in Greek. Okay, I remember seeing this on the website and thinking this spoke to a Taylor Fall item. Cozy little sweater, a cute little skirt like this. So I saw this. This is Icy Bamboo. It is a ribbed skirt and it's corduroy. Is there anything in life that I love more than corduroy? Yes, but not much. It is a skirt with shorts underneath, so I suppose one might call that a skirt, but she's fully skirt, front and back, little zipper right here. Uh, so far, like the material feels pretty dang solid. Love the color. I'm pretty sure almost every single thing I ordered here today is a size small. That's usually like what I would order from any website when I'm just not sure. However, the one thing I did see online was that sometimes their sizing can be a little off. So I'm curious if this is going to be too small for a small. I'm picky. And to be frank, I've got a badonk. So if my booty can't fit in here, I, I can't wear her. You can tell this is a workout company that's making like a fashionable skirt because it is so comfortable. These are just like loose, kind of tight spandexy shorts underneath. And the corduroy is like very forgiving. It has like a nice fitted waistband, but it's not digging into me by any means. But it doesn't seem that short. I definitely would maybe need like, eh, like a half an inch longer, maybe on the back end, but I don't feel like I'm about to pop out, so to speak. One, it's so like loose fitting and comfortable. Two, because the material is like not that restricting. So I can kind of, I can jive and I'm not worried I'm gonna, you know. Okay, we're going on full transparency here. That's, that's my laundry basket. Haven't done laundry since I moved in here. Um, about a week ago, almost two weeks ago. I think it's really cute. I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised. I was kind of nervous on how their clothes were going to be. I'm impressed. Like I look like a fall Pinteresty girl. I just need a hat and boots. And I like it. I like it all. Mm. This is kind of fun. I don't remember the last time I've done a full on try on haul. I remember reviewing all of those fun leggings. I think that was last year spring maybe all right we're going pretty tried and true here i think these are the cloud foals these are one of their more popular leggings at least from what i've seen like literally on tiktok and they're 
adorable because of this crossover like that to me has always been an extremely flattering shape on so many different body types not to mention we've got pockets on either side hello convenience I tried to choose some fun colors that I thought would complement things I don't already have in my wardrobe this I think is maybe a lighter purple than I maybe would have wanted just because I kind of steer away from lighter colors because well if we're gonna be frank I'm a sweaty gal so I don't like to get light colors because you're going to see my sweat. It's disgusting. But these are the Cloudful 3.0s. So what that just tells me, um, just making an educated guess here, they've improved from 1.0 and 2.0. My first impression putting these on was I'm going to scratch these and rip them. And I've had other leggings like that in the past and they don't necessarily rip as easily as you think that they might, but you're always a teeny bit nervous or worried. I do love the feel of them on my body. Like they feel very secure, extremely soft to the touch. And of course this like little crossover. Something about these makes me nervous and I think it's because the material is so thin. It feels high quality, but it also feels a lot like nylons that I'm going to scratch and perhaps ruin. So I wonder if I would just need to be very comfortable with these, uh, maybe only wear them to something like yoga or going on a walk, lounging on the couch, nothing too strenuous where I'd accidentally tear at them. First overall opinion of them, I'm gonna probably say maybe like a 7.2 out of 10. I think that's pretty generous because I'm knocking points for like how weirdly nervous I feel in them. But then again, they're so comfortable. But I am also just the biggest klutz and clumsiest gal I know. I feel like I would mess up. And I shouldn't have to worry about that. You know, like I'm just in leggings. Like I shouldn't have to worry about ruining them just by walking around. But that's just me. That's my life. But it doesn't feel cheap by any means. And I want to say that would likely have been my biggest hesitation with the brand. Just because when I hear virality, I immediately kind of think like, is... Is this gonna live up to the hype? Because I'm only 5'2", I got these in a 7 8 length, but I believe they do also come in the full length. So, important to note, but love that they have that option because a lot of brands don't, and then I, I cuff almost every pair of leggings that I own, which is fine, doesn't look great. It's not ideal, it works, but I prefer this, always. Now these are going to be interesting. So these, these are high-waisted training leggings that have a lining on the inside that is supposed to be shaping. I don't always love terminology like that. What is that exactly trying to imply? Like, shaping? Hmm? Based off of other brands, like, you know, there's the tummy control or, like, anti-love handles. That's just not terms I like to use. I don't think it's very inclusive always. I do like at least what I've seen so far is that we do actually have a line down the booty. If there is no line down the booty, if there is no seam, no go for Taylor. And surprisingly enough, no front seam, which also can be a hit or miss for a lot of people. You know, we're talking the big CT. Hoo, hoo. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not completely vibing with these. <laughs> these are supposed to be the most flattering here and for some reason to me, they feel almost like the least. I think it has something to do with these seams on either side. The way my body is, is like I'm gonna go in then out then in or whatever and I feel like it's just kind of highlighting that and it kind of also feels like there's just like a giant arrow pointing right at my groin, like just right here. I mean, I like the color. I think everything about them feels simple and stable, but I just don't feel the best or like my best self in them. Like, let's just say I would only wear these if it wasn't like the weeks leading up to my period or the week of my period. You get what I'm saying? <sighs> okay, now listen up. If there is one legging that I wanted to try more than anything from this collection, it is this. If this works, this will absolutely blow my marbles, blow them away, and I will never see them again. These are a new pair of leggings from Halara called the Padded Offs, meaning they are technically supposed to be pet hair resistant. Now I've recently moved, but my old roommate, absolutely love her to death, has the sweetest, cutest dog, and he is a Dalmatian. And we will joke that even though we don't live together anymore, I will still find his hair on my clothes for years to come because 
Dalmatian fur will live on to eternity. It's like cockroaches and fur. Some of it will just last through any kind of apocalypse that the world will ever see. Supposedly, when you put these on, you can essentially just brush them off and the fur goes away. That's what they're saying, okay? That is what they're saying. They were kind enough to actually send me these in two colors and I didn't even ask for it, thank you. So I have the black, this is in a full length, and then I have, I believe this is pea coat in a 7 8 length. So I'm gonna compare both of these, but we're also gonna go on a field trip. Okay class, our field trip today, we are going over to one of my best friend Haley's houses because she has a dog that loves to shed. Shed, 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 shed. He is the sweetest little boy, also cute little necklace that the six-year-old I watch uh, made for me. So precious! Do you have a freaking light on? Much better. But I'm basically going to go over there, hang out with him, have him run all around my legs, and see if I can pat this off. A little experimente, if you will. Okay, we've just arrived, just for the record. We've got some clean leggings here. No dog hair. No dog hair. Time to test. Totally boy. Tolly, oh my sweet handsome man, oh, no, 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 no. come here, Tolly, come here, you sweet, oh, you sweet boy, you want to give Auntie Taylor some cuddles? Um, fun fact, one time I was babysitting Tolly, and Auntie Taylor gave him a bowl of treats instead of a bowl of dog food, because I didn't know the difference. I think he likes me for it, let's just, let's be honest. You want to play? You want to play with me? Good boy, good shake too. You do all the tricks. You do all the tricks. Get all your hair on me. Get all your hair on me. It honestly like kind of falls off. I'm getting like some fur, but it doesn't stay. Like I can easily brush it off, which I believe is how the website advertises these leggings. It's because they're kind of like this more resistant material rather than, I don't know, like something like cotton that it would maybe stick to normally. And you're a fluffy boy, aren't you? Aren't you sweet, Tolly? But you can see, like, I've just been playing with him, so there's definitely hair on my leggings, but it brushes right off. I'd say it's a decent success. I'm I'm fairly impressed. I don't know many brands that could make something that's, like, 100% foolproof. These are clothes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Okay, now that I'm sort of looking at it, like, after picking it out online, just hanger appeal, it is giving Ballerina Cinderella a little. Get a load of this name, okay? Hear me out here. This is the breezeful square neck, backless cutout, crisscross, twisted back, two-in-one, side pocket, corset mini, quick dry, flowy, casual dress. That is 19 words. I'm gonna say that we should concise, consolidate. That's, that's a, that is a lot of things. I could have chosen a different color. I wanted this angel blue. I'm, of course, just like the rest of the world in a little bit of a pickleball era. And I just thought this would look kind of cute on the pickleball courts, if I'm just being fully transparent here. She does have shorts, which the shorts have pockets. She's certainly wrinkled from the packaging. I think it's probably supposed to have like a little wrinkle, but not this much. It is like kind of darling though. It is essentially weightless. It feels so comfortable and light fitting. Um, but I feel like I should be like wearing a shirt. Like this is the base layer. It's, it is giving leotard. Pretty pretty princess leotard ballerina Cinderella. I'm wondering if my friends would give me a hard time if I was wearing this on the pickleball court. <laughs> I don't know, like I think it's fun. I don't necessarily think it's me, you know? You know? Comfort, awesome. Activity, perhaps pickleball, perhaps dance recital. Somewhere in between. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. If it was black, maybe it wouldn't be that bad. I think it's really just because I chose this literal angel blue. And that's all me. And that's all me. Alrighty, next up, we have the seamless, oh, interesting. These are the seamless flow, high-waisted, which you can definitely tell it's a thick band right here but lifting leggings. These are essentially supposed to be leggings that emphasize the bootay. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like from first touch and feel, 
these kind of feel like leggings that I have purchased similar versions of from Amazon. Not saying that is a bad thing, but it is an interesting thing. But Amazon dupes can be pretty good. So I wonder if I found a dupe of Halara. They just use similar materials. This is 90% nylon, 10% elastane. I don't know if they're gonna be very breathable just based on like how thick this feels. These to me would be perfect leggings that I would wear underneath my ski pants. Like that's the kind of feeling that they give off. But I am curious about her. La booty lift. Okay, this is 100% real. This is how high. I'm not even done yet. I can keep pulling these up. I can, this is the end of my sports bra. I can keep going. They could probably touch my boobs. This is the highest high-waisted I've ever seen. Like, it feels like it's almost a jumpsuit. This could be one piece right here. What the heck? I would obviously need to be rolling these down. Um, wow. <laughs> this could very well be a height thing. I'm not the world's tallest gal. I'm also not the world's shortest gal. So I don't know what this would be like on the world's short shortest gal. I don't think they're like not complimentary on your butt, but I do feel like it's giving me like long butt. It's giving long, not lifted. And also the problem with any leggings like this, and I've experienced a few, is you're supposed to just be hiking it up. Some people don't care about this. I do, because the more you hike up, let's just go here, okay? You just get this nice, this nice little shape. <laughs> this straight up line and line and directional. It's giving single ladies. It's, it's, I would love a tall friend of mine to try these on, but truth be told, I feel like I would just literally cut off like five inches of this fabric. Like if I pull them down like that, it's not as bad at all, but I still don't love this like when I'm standing together. <sighs> like they're comfy, but I don't know. They could be pretty decent for a leg day. Like I am pretty flexy here, eh. but I'm not going to show off the way that my butt looks in these. Like I don't necessarily agree that they are butt lifted leggings. They're comfy, they're cute. I mean, they're black simple, literally just like very kind of thicker material leggings, but <sighs> I probably wouldn't write home about them, and I wouldn't necessarily always be reaching for them first. Catch my drift. I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm having such a hard time telling the difference between some of these leggings. The details are so fine, in a, in a good way, but I'm getting confused. And I also can't tell if this is green or blue. Hello? I'm excited. We're ending with two that I think I'm the most excited about. These, I think, would just be your tried and trues. These come in black and like a grassy green, like a darker green. So you just have two solid color options, but I think that's kind of intentional because I think they're supposed to be such a staple in your wardrobe, if I'm not mistaken, Halara. Correct me if I'm wrong. These, however, only come in an extra small to an extra large, which I think is a disservice because a lot of their other styles go all the way up to 4X. So I don't know why they would just have something that's supposed to be such a staple in such a smaller range of sizes. Don't love that. However, the features of these leggings make it feel fairly high quality. You have already this like drawstring on the inside, which I love. I always like crank that thing in. The material feels like thick and buttery, but also durable. Like it's going to hold you in, but also allow you like that flexibility left and right while being quite flattering. This is me just being stupid and having fun with this. These are also supposed to be a quick dry legging. So I'm just gonna throw some water on it. <laughs> See how fast? How fast they dry. I'm not gonna like pour it because that just kind of seems like excessive. Like I'm thinking like sweat, you know? Well, 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 well. Oh, actually, what the heck? I feel like that evaporated before my eyes. Watch, okay. Okay. I'm not moving the screen. It's like essentially gone. It nearly feels dry. I'm pouring quite a lot. What? Like you can definitely still see the marks, but the way it is fading so quickly quick dry. That's actually pretty weird. I didn't expect that to ha happen. I thought I was gonna like, you know, boom, fooled ya. I'm wasting so much water. This is so fun. What that, what? What? Oh, that's cool. I like that. I'm impressed with Laura. I'm impressed. Uh, just for reference, these other pair of leggings that I'm wearing, these are Gymsharks. 
I barely spilled water on them in there. They're still wet. I mean, they are also brown, but kind of cool. Difference. Love the fit on my ankles. Don't look at my dogs. These I don't hate, but I'm not necessarily in love with them. They just feel extremely high on my torso. Maybe this is just a brand that's kind of targeted towards people with longer torsos, in which case, if that's you, maybe go after it. But I just kind of feel like I am all legging right now. Like it feels like it's just, again, like going up to my sports bra. It's pretty dang close. We have this heart shape on the butt. I was pretty hopeful for this one. I thought it was gonna be a little bit more complimentary than it is. I feel like they still need to work on something Maybe it's like with the pocket or it's around the waist. I don't know, but it's kind of like this section right here that I feel like needs like a bit more support, a bit more structure. And that's where I feel the least confident in these ones and one or two other ones that I've tried on today. I'm not saying I hate them. Like there's not that much to hate. They feel high quality. I could wear these easily to the gym or to my workout studio like when I'm actually working and I would be comfortable and fine, but I don't feel like it's giving like that tummy control that it's advertising. I don't necessarily love like this downward seam. I think in a way it's supposed to be more complimentary than it is. Maybe you would like it. Um, I'm just not exactly vibing with it. And then again, like whatever the heck is going on right here. I just, oh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I will say though, like I do feel kind of athletic in these. Like I think it's the different kind of angles of the pockets with the booty. I don't know, but I feel, I feel funky fresh. So not like a 10 out of 10. Honestly, more like still in that seven range, but they're good. They are good. Not great. Good. And last but not least, this was one of those things I saw on their website. And I said, Taylor needs this. First of all, this color, salsa red. I am literally going to be the emoji girl. This is one of those like do it all dolly dresses. First of all, I just unsnapped it already. That could be good or bad. It kind of feels like a bathing suit material. And I'm sure that's honestly pretty similar to what it's made from. It is definitely supposed to be a workout dress, but you have this backless feature. So normally when I wear workout dresses, they're like a full bodysuit underneath, which is cute and fun. But then I go to the bathroom and I'm sitting naked in a stall because I had to take the whole dress off in order to pee. This, on the other hand, will have saved me that embarrassment because all you have to do is pull down the back. One of the like 12 words in this description is called easy peasy. And I do feel like that is pretty applicable. Um, again, Halara, let's, let's use some concise titles. I know you're probably just, you're going for that SEO. I get it. I am a social media gal. I understand. However, um, how in the actual world am I supposed to remember any of these names? Okay. Okay, this is an optional halter, although it definitely feels a lot more snug when it is pulled in together like that. This separates from the bottom. So there we go, from going to the bathroom, boom, ready. <laughs> pocket here, pocket here. I feel like the emoji, 100,000 bajillion percent, but I feel cute. You know, of course I'm being intentionally nitpicky with these because I want you to get like your full honest review, absolutely everything that you can from this video. My first reaction I think was that like bathing suit material and I definitely see that in the way it frames me, like just sort of like highlighting like my stomach and everything, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. This fits like a glove. This is so stinking comfortable. It's fun, the red is kind of sassy. I would wear this. Honestly, like I could style this to not like necessarily go out with friends, but like to go grab brunch or coffee, um, go on a walk. This is comfort, 100%. And it feels flattering and like just fitting. Like it just fits like a glove. I'm obsessed with this. Fun, flirty, fresh, fab, fit, fun. Support is probably pretty light, like right here for my more gifted gals. I cannot speak in that department, but I would buy this in more colors for sure. Like it, 
when I like something, I have no troubles buying it in like three or four colors. I'd get this in like a dark green, a navy, a black, a white would be cute. Yeah, I'm happy with it. Also, the other thing I had mentioned I had kind of seen online was maybe some differencing in sizing. And other than literal scaling, I felt too short, like torso was too short for some of these leggings. I didn't think that their sizing was not true to standardized size charts. I went with my usual safe size and it ended up being totally fine. So I would say overall like go with your safe general usual bet when it comes to sizing for any of these. I just want to thank Halara again for being so generous sending over these awesome leggings and dresses and the cute skirt and for sponsoring this video. Again I cannot emphasize this enough. My opinion is my own. I was hopefully as brutally honest as I could be. I had so much fun with this. I haven't done a little haul in so long but if you're interested in any of the items remember you can use the promo code woods20 at their website for 20% off of any full price item. I will have a link to their website in my description box below and let me know your thoughts. If there's anything that you want me to try next, other try on hauls, other challenges, you tell me. I'm here to be your guru, your guinea pig, if you will, and you shall.